drop left, drop left, drop left, four more, two to go, and then we're going to come back into the narrow, one narrow, one wide, one narrow, one wide, down and up, down and up, narrow and wide, Press your belly. One narrow. One wide. One narrow. One wide. One more time. Alternating. We're going to stay on this side. Narrow. Wide. Same leg. Narrow and wide. Single time. Now we're going to speed it up. Watch. Down, up. Down, up, no narrow. We're just stepping out, pushing across this leg. Drive down, and if you want more, a little knee lift with a little rotation. Chest stays up, point the toe down, try and get the heel to the butt. Try and turn across that front knee, so we're getting the rotation through the chest, through the obliques. Eight more. Try and push up out of your butt and then get that rotation. Four. Three. Two. Step out. Wide. Narrow. This is your recovery. Down. Down. Wide. Narrow. We're going to take it just out and in. Out and in. Down, go low. How low can you sit? Can you explode back? So you're pushing up and you're squeezing hard. And if you want that little bit more, add the rotation. Boom. Rotate. Heel up. All the way up the knee. Can you turn with the elbows? Hello. Down, twist. You can get your butt lower than your knees, and you can get your knee all the way up to your ear. Eight more now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, two more. One more. Narrow squat. This is your holding pattern. This is active recovery. Still keeping the muscles active. Still driving the heart rate up. So giving you a chance to get some recovery. Down and up. Push back and up. We're going to come back to this leg. Side lunge. Wait. Now. So on the side lunge, foot back, chest come forward. Toes face the front, one leg straightens, one leg bends. Feel the stretch. Can you brace your belly as you pull back? And you might even be feeling your strong abdominals. This leg, lunge back. Back, in. Back knee under hip, chest and lifted. It's a long stride, and we push this heel down to lift. Keep going with this. Down, up. So press the heel down. You're on the ball as a back foot, and you better be squeezing your butt. One more. Take your slope, side lunge. Step in, reverse. Side, reverse. We're going to make this a little bit more explosive. Three pulses. Three, two, one. Three, two. Those two moves. Reach towards your ankle. Reach up if it feels good. 
three, two, one. Watch the change. Knee lifts. Three, two, one. Lift. Three, two, one. Down. Up. Push. Lift. Reach. Up. Full extension of the arms to stretch out that side for a body. Down. Up. One more. Are you feeling your butt yet? Listen. Here. Watch. Down. Up. Down. Up. Lunge. Lift. Or lunge and tap. Knee repeater. One, two, lean in. Hip touches hands. Hands from hip to shoulder. And we're trying to use the abs to pull the knee up. And we're staying grounded with this leg. So press your heel down. Push your knee out. Chest is up. Tap lift. Four of these. Four. Three. Lunge knee lift. Two. Knee repeater. Get low. Lean in. Lunge. Use your arms. Hip to shoulder. Pull the leg. Three, two, one. Lunge lift. Watch. If you want more on your lunge, jump or dog. Knee repeat. Come on, feel it. Use the butt. Use the hamstrings. Knee repeat. Listen. Lunge and lift. Eight. Jump or dog. Lift. Or tap. Drop the back knee. That's the main thing. One more. Step. Squat. Easy squat. Recover. If you need a drink, take it now. This is your holding pattern. You can be on the beat. You can go slower. Anyone feeling a butt? Anyone feeling the butt? How's the cardio? Yeah? Side lunge. Let's go together. Sink into the hips. Pull up through the thigh. Lunge. Down and up. Front knee pushes to the side wall to activate side quads, side glutes. Three pulses. Two. Step. Back. Side. Reach. Shoulders and hips like headlights. We're just feeling the way. This is your movement pattern. Three pulses. Option. You lift the knee. Let's go. Three. Feel the power. Arms lift. Abs squeeze. Yeah, here it is. I'm getting used to being here now. Let's go side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, arms up. Lift the knees. I can't get you on now, baby. Keep going, guys. Keep going. Let me see there. Keep going. Three. Side. Three. Up. With a little jump. Side lunge. Three, two, jump if you want. Listen, stay here. 
down, up, down, up. You can lift, you can jump. Try and push into the heel, up onto the toe. Knee repeater, one, two. Check your leading leg. Screw your heel into the ground. Try and move your hands. Hips and hands join. Come on, keep pumping it. Pull, push, pull and push from this section. Don't forget this knee bend. We want to feel it in the whole of your leg. Listen, four of these, four. Two ledges. You know where we're going with this. Straight away, you can jump. You can step. You can lift. Four more. Come on, pump it. Come on, can you feel it too? Feel the power. Feel the power. Who's counting? Two more. Ah, one more. Squat. Down. Back. Down. Pulse. Down low. How's the inner thigh? Press out the knees. Check it out. We ain't gone. Set it wide again. Pulse. Toes out. Heel almost to the center. And we want to feel that opening. That stretch. Can you see my feet? In, out. Push, push. Close, open. Close, open. So, you can see that my hips are back low. My shoulders are low, my hips, my back is straight. In and out. Can you feel it? In the thigh. Out the thigh. Two more. One more. Give it a shake. Oh. We're going to try a little bit of balance. A little bit of glute work. Which leg do you want to start with? Doesn't have to be the same as mine. Knee bends. You're going to find the balance. So initially, your foot's going to be on the floor. You're going to lift. You're going to tip your chest. And you're going to isolate your butt. As we get into it, keep moving. Keep going with that. Keep moving. Keep moving. You can find a little bit of support. It can be lightly holding the wall, the work surface, or a chair. So come down with the chest. Isolate the butt. Pull the shoulders back. Watch. Out and in. So we're trying to stretch up through the front and work the back. So thoracic extension, for strong backs, great posture, and a little abs into the mix as we find the balance. While we're focusing on that, remember, bend your knee, squeeze your butt, as you lift, push down into the ground, and start to balance. If you can, she says. So your toe almost comes down. If you're finding it hard to balance, all the way down. Arms up. Three, two, three. Reach your arms past your ears. Three pulses. Can you push your heel to the wall and point your toe down? If you can't keep your arms up, bring your hands. Whatever feels right. One more. How's your butt? Change. 
Just start lifting. Bend the leg. Tap the toe. Draw the belly in. Lift the chest. Pull the shoulders back. Check the foot. You're flexing so that heel pushes down and the toe points towards the ground. And that should really kick in to the butt. If you want it, reach. How far can you reach? How long can you make your front body? How hard can you squeeze your back body? If you imagine it's the back body that's controlling the lift of the arms, the lift of the butt, does it feel different? And you all remember to bend this knee. Find your own rhythm. Don't worry about the beat. Two more. Remember, three pulses. Arms stay up. It's just the leg that moves, then everything comes down. If you don't want the arms, then just focus on the leg. Four more. Ah, two. One more. Step in. This leg. Just lift that. Easy lift. Easy lift. Feels good. Feels easy. Keep lifting. Lift your leg. Listen. Leg up. Now you're not using your leg to lift your leg. How's about this? Use your abs. Upper and lower abs. Start to crunch. Start to squeeze. Squeeze. Don't use your leg. Squeeze. You might be feeling a little help from your butt. I don't want you to use your leg. Now, can you twist? Knee and elbow. You can come down and pull the knee past the elbow. Don't forget, it's this that's controlling the lift. Talk to me about this leg, the supporting leg. Can you feel the work down the side, down the back? Can you feel your abs? Two more. This leg, lunge, twist. Fast or slow. We bend the back knee so that we can fix the hips and not move the hips. That creates support from the ground up so we can rotate from the chest. When we get that rotation through the chest, we start to feel the obliques kicking in. That's gonna shape and turn your waist. If it's too much to bring your elbows wide, just bring your arms across your chest and bring your knee in a little bit. Try and squeeze your butt on your thighs. And if you want a little bit more, go a little lower. We're gonna change weight, other side. Just start to lift. Feel that you're lifting from here. Arms up. You're starting to crunch. Pull the knee up. Bring the chest down slightly. Can you get the knee past at the elbow? Past the knee. Can you rotate more? Keep moving with it. You can find your own rhythm. You can go fast. You can go slow. You've got to feel what feels right for you, where you can really make that mind to muscle connection. Oh. Couple more. Step back. Hands here or here. Twist. Fix the hips. Push the knee down. Nice and strong. Nice and low. 
as you twist. Can you pull your elbows back? Pull your shoulders down and just feel those torsion muscles engage a little. We're stepping in. Up and down. A little crunch. Slide the ribs towards the hips. Try and lift the lower belly up towards the chest. Change. We're just going to do eight, seven, four more. Two to go. Last one. Let's bring it to the ground. So if you've got a mat, great. Grab your mat. If you're using the carpet, that's fine. I'm just going to bring my computer down. Yes, you can see me. So, support on your elbow. Hang on. Let me just get a towel so my sweaty elbow doesn't slide. Legs out. Option one leg down. Top leg is going to come in, in. So it's like a side crunch. Bottom leg down or bottom leg lifted but not moving. Knee and elbow, chest forward, chest up. Watch if you want a little bit more. Both legs. We're trying to pull from the side. We've got support or if you need to, stay down and just lift the leg. In, out. In and out. Give me one more. Change sides on your mat. It's reminding me we've got 10 minutes. I'm going to try and finish on time today. So, one leg. One leg lifted, or you can bring your bottom leg down with a crunch. So we're rotating slightly, so the shoulder drops back, and if you want a little bit more, use your supporting arm to push into the ground to help you lift, and you might be able to drop a little lower back, and this arm's going to stop you from falling over. Eight more. Use your abs to lift your legs, not your legs to lift your legs, four more, four, three, two, one, turn over again, that's just your recovery, making sure you switch on, three, two, one, turn to the back of your room, three, Two, turn to the front. Three, two, turn to the back. Pull the knees up. Drop the elbow back. Rotate through the chest. Bring it back. Let's just do one more on both sides. Turn. Last time. Three. Two. Guys, come on to your back. Cross crawl. One, two. One, two. Knee comes in. Elbow comes in. You're going to try not to let your knee touch your elbow. Pull your elbows wide and try and get your knee to the shoulder and your elbow to your ankle. Option is to tap. You're shortening the levers to support the lower back. If you're all about like it and you've got good abdominal contraction, you're extending. Now can you pull your shoulders a little higher? And every time you want it, try and get both elbows off the ground. One more. Two more. Breathe and lift. 
You can face the center, you can face off center. On your hands, you're supported on your hands. One leg. We're bringing in and out. So this is a little bit what we did from standing up. Keep moving. You're using the abdominals to pull the leg in. Not your legs, not your hip flexor. Pull, push. How far back can you go? Almost C-shaping the spine. That lower back, you're trying to push it down to the floor. Change legs. 15 reps. One, two. If you want a little bit more, lift your other leg. And if you want even more, double crunch. Can you pull your knees together? Don't let your knees open. Focus on pulling the knees in as you squeeze. One more. See? Down. C-shape into the spine. So just step almost into the lower back. Drop your pelvic floor into the mat. Fingers to temples. Or you can hold lightly on the side of your legs. Crunch up. One, two, three, four. Drop back. Hover. Use your belly to pull. Use your back to support. If you've not got that mind to muscle connection, your hip flexors are going to be screaming. If you're feeling it, just have a little recovery or allow your knees to open. Oh. And you're challenging yourself to go a little lower, but not getting your shoulders on the ground, your shoulders never touch. Feet up to two. One, two. One, two. Fingers to temples. Elbows pull back as you lift so that we can open the front body and squeeze through the back body. Open and drop. Open and drop. Listen, hands down. One leg or two. In, in. One leg or two. Pull and push. Pull and push from here. If you're on one leg, change. If you're on two, it's eight, seven, six, five, eyes forward. Two more. Last one. Down we go. Cross crawl. Legs to 45. Come on, lift the shoulders. Rotate. Bend your knees, tap, lift. Use the low belly. Lift the hip. Tap the toe and watch. If you want a little bit more. We did these the other day. Try to give it up using the lower abs. The feet are tapping down. Or you can extend down and up. <laughs> Let's do it with legs. Pull my legs and do it with them. If you're straightening your legs, find your own rhythm. If you're doing one leg, make sure you get the butt lifted. And if you're bending your knees, fire up the hips. Back to the cross crawl. Listen, leg extension on tap. Four, three, two, cross crawl. Eight, seven. Tap or extend. Four, three, two, one, cross crawl. Eight. Are we good? Two more. Tap or lift. One, 
two, three, cross crawl, come on crunch it, pull up the shoulders, pump the belly, one more, down, up, last time, eight, turn over, Hold, come into a hover, back is straight, chest is lifted, you're going to pull your elbows towards the ribs, option is to stay on your knees and just hold still, quick little combination, drop the hip side to side, you can do this on your knees and you'll still feel it. Try and look down. Can you get your hip to touch the ground? Come up. Now be climber. Your option is just to hold. Full extension, hands on the shoulders, chest up, belly brace. Pump the legs. Keep the hips down low. Back to the dip. One, two, fast, fast, slow, guys. Feel our rhythm. Last time, mountain climbers. Let's go. Twenty seconds. Count it out. Ten, nine, eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Jump in. Squat. Rise. Guys, we've done it. 